Welcome to my short video of the kestrels in the nest box in front of the Linda Visitor Centre. Initially we thought there was only three or four chicks, but Lloyd, a reserve officer who rings the chicks later in the video, found that there was in fact a total of five, with nine dead voles in the back of the box, showing clearly the parents have been very busy keeping their chicks well fed. The parents never stray far away from the nest box, just sitting in the tree on guard or sitting on the next box watching me, although I am some distance away. Occasionally I will catch sight of them hovering over the meadows. This I find quite difficult as they are very quick. We will now join Lloyd as he rings one of the chicks. You're joining us today at Rutland Water Nature Reserve and we're checking some of the large hole boxes that we've got. Um, in this box up that we've got up here we've got some kestrel chicks that have hatched. Um, They've been hatched a little while now and they're just ready for ringing. So what we're doing is I've put them all in a bag just to keep them nice and calm. I can take each one out. They're going to be quite noisy. So I can take each one out of the bag. I can put it into the ringer's grip so we can hold the bird nice and comfortably. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to put it on the lap. Just hold it there. It's going to bite me quite contently. And then what I'm doing is I'm fitting the birds with a small, uniquely numbered metal ring. So no other bird in the world will have this ring number. This will be unique to this bird. And the way I fit this ring is first I put it on the leg, I can give it just a squeeze, just to get the ring partly closed up. Then what I do is I use this special pair of pliers on the largest hole. And I put the ring in there. And now I can close that up and shape that ring and round it. Now I can squeeze as hard as I like on the pliers now. And what I want to achieve is a nice tight finish so that no debris or anything can ever get caught in there which would hinder the bird. So this ring does absolutely no harm to the bird. And it just means that we can track their lives. We can follow where they go when they leave this nest in the hope that they get caught by a ringer or found again by a member of the public. This one back in the bird ready bag for the next one. I think I have just found the perfect voiceover for my video documentaries. Persuasion tactics will now ensue. Just a quick look round to see which is on the feeders. Greenfinch, yellow hammer, tree sparrows to name just a few. And down on the water's edge the mute swan with her new brood. And finally, back to the kestrels. After their short excursion into the wide world, they have been put back safely into their nest box.